dissolved treatment in our lower stomach. So levodazole is a combination of something called phosphatidylcholine, deoxycholate. Now deoxycholate is found in the drug called Kybella, which is used for under the chin, sold by Allergan, the makers of Botox. And the Kybella by itself is a little bit too inflammatory to treat for a big area like the stomach, so we add some called phosphatidylcholine to it. It makes it a little bit more gentle and more tolerable when you treat much bigger areas and get much better results. Uh, we did you about a month ago or two months ago? It was March 26th. So March 26th, we treated this, her lower her lower uh, abdomen because she had a, a big wall there. Was concerned, was hanging out of her pants. And what, you said you lost a couple pant sizes. We lost just over two pant sizes and just over ten pounds. Okay, you probably did some dieting too. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, so I like people to go on a diet and exercise when they're doing this, but you will lose fat. It's typically not designed to be something for weight loss. If you need to lose weight, you gotta go on do it on your own anyways. But this does definitely kill fat cells permanently. Um, there's some moderate discomfort afterwards. You said it hurts you too much, but typically people have like, you know, soreness. It feels like a red swollen for a couple of days. The procedure itself is pretty close to painless. I use a little local anesthetic, a little pick, and a labradorabinum, a little pick in the middle. And I use a special device to, to transport the, the uh, PCDC into the fat, phosphocholine and deacetylate called PCDC. And I do about 50 cc per side. So it was very fast. The results are seen as quick as the results are as quick as uh, three or four weeks, and take up to about two months. When did you notice the biggest change? Uh, it was about two weeks actually, and I didn't even notice it. My mother-in-law noticed it. Mother-in-law noticed it first. So this because these are pretty close to painless. I can put an anesthetic in it so that. Afterwards, there's some stinging that cuts it down for about a day, and then after that, there's some burning, stinging. She said it hurt much. Most people have moderate discomfort. Um, the PCDC, phosphatidylcholine deoxycholate, permanently destroys fat cells, and it does about 20-25% of the fat cells it'll kill off, and the rest of them you do it again in a few months or continue to diet and exercise and lose weight. And there's a little bit of swelling afterwards, a little bit of discomfort, and something that for somebody that doesn't want to have liposuction and has really an area that's kind of hard, you're not, it's not, not going away on its own. So there's other treatments that are not surgical, like cold sculpting. Um, we use that in certain areas, in certain people that don't have any post procedure discomfort. This does give a little bit better results than cold sculpting does. But they're similar. And this is a little faster and a little less expensive. It's pretty much a preferred way to lose fat, although that's an alternative. There's other non-surgical fat uh, systems that we use in the past, liposonics and others, uh, Vanquish. We just don't see great results with them. We're not really good cost-benefit ratio. We can get those. Again, the procedure takes just a few minutes. Uh, afterwards, there's some discomfort, but you know most people can go back to work, do their normal activities. Some people feel like they can't work out for a couple of days. Some people don't want to work the next day. They usually can go back and do their normal stuff. And that is it. We're here in Lexington, South Carolina, uh, one of our newer offices. Um, they're, they're doing some cosmetic stuff, doing the lipo dissolve and, and Botox and fillers. So again, phosphatidylcholine, deoxycholate. Uh, the deoxycholate is the component that kills fat cells. The other component just makes it so it's much more tolerable. We can treat an area about this big in one session. Anymore that's too much medication, a certain amount of medication your body can handle and get rid of. If you use too much, you get a little diarrhea because it is a bile salt. But an area like a large, like an abdomen or, or a large area in your flanks, we can treat. Small areas like the neck, the double chin, we can treat. Uh, but we can't treat your whole body. It's really done in sections at a time. So thank you very much. There is a question, what can be done with excessive loose skin without surgery? So it's a tough one. So excessive loose skin, like it's on the abdomen, there's really almost nothing, okay? So if there's fat in loose skin, when we reduce the fat, the skin will tighten up. Sometimes we do things that use radio frequency to tighten the skin, but if it's excess, like it's significant, it doesn't really do much. So typically, surgery is gonna be when there's really a lot of skin hanging there, and if there's not a lot of skin, we can do some non-surgical tightening, tightening, do some called axillus. When there's fat in skin, when you shrink the fat, the skin does retract. That's a great question. All right, thank you.